How many six-year-olds can say they performed at the White House? Emily Bear can make that claim. The little girl from Rockford, Illinois, was born to play the piano, and she writes much of her own music. So maybe, just maybe, we've found the next Mozart. This is the story of a little girl who was born with a gift. And she opened that gift early. This comes out to me. This comes out. Where does it come from? I don't know. Probably in my in your heart. You could call her a piano prodigy, though the P word is never used in the bear home. This is all unknown territory for all of us. I've heard about kids like this, I never thought I'd have one. <laughs> Her siblings, 12-year-old Benji and 7-year-old Lauren, are also talented musicians. My brother plays electric and acoustic guitar. My sister plays the harp and piano, and I only play the piano. But I would like to play the flute. <laughs> Emily was discovered four years ago by her grandmothers. One of them, a concert pianist who's made a career of teaching musically gifted children, like Emily. I just love music. It's my passion. Four years ago, Emily's mom and dad took a trip and left Grandma in charge. She heard someone playing piano and thought it was the eldest child. I was overwhelmed. It was the baby who was two years old in one month, playing a C scale with three fingers. Play your scale, Emmy. Grandma Murrow immediately contacted the prestigious Juilliard School of Music in New York. He said, there's only one person in the country, his name is Emilio Del Rosario. He teaches at the Music Institute of Chicago. With instruction from Del Rosario and many generous mentors, including Mary Sauer, the Chicago Symphony's principal keyboardist, Emily has blossomed. They're practicing Mozart's Concerto No. 23 that Emily will play next March with the Rockford Symphony Orchestra. What she does in her music, in all the styles that she plays in, she is speaking directly from inside of her. Which is why jazz is so comfortable for her. Yet her favorite song is not jazz or Mozart but one she wrote herself for Mr. D, her loving piano teacher, who is now ill. What do you want to be when you grow up? A composer. I like Mozart because he's kind of like me and I'm kind of like him. Like her playing, Emily's composing pours from her heart. It's her patience with fumble-fingered adults like me she has to work on. With keyboard chops that would be the envy of most adults, it's easy to forget Emily is still a child. But this one is my favorite. Do you know why? Why? I got it at the White House. What is your hope for her? In... To be happy. Yeah. <laughs> Seriously, to have good values, to be at peace in her heart, <laughs> um, to be a really good grown-up. <laughs> Until then, the one thing Emily wants you to know... Actually, I'm just a normal kid that plays piano. And most, I like inspiring kids. Oh, wow. Wow. Emily will play at Ravinia again in September. She played there last summer at the age of five. We've compiled a number of Emily's recent performances on our website along with her latest CD. You can check out WGNTV.com. Allison, she is such a joy to listen to. You know what, Steve? You're right. I'm in love.